This video will show you how to make a histogram in Excel. Recall that in order to create a histogram, we need numeric data. For this example, we'll be taking a look at exam scores in a small class of 16 students. Collect all of your data in a single column. In a separate column, say column C, we'll create the bins for our observations to fall into. The smallest observation in our data set is 68, so we'll create a bin for all observations less than or equal to 70, and work our way up in increments of 5. What these bins mean is the following. This first bin, labeled 70, will contain all observations less than or equal to 70. The next bin, labeled 75, will contain all observations that are greater than 70, but less than or equal to 75. This pattern continues until we reach the final bin labeled 95, which will just contain all observations that are greater than 90. To calculate the frequency in each bin, select all of the cells immediately to the right of the bins set up in column C by selecting the top cell and dragging down to the bottom cell. While these cells are still selected, we're going to use the frequency function to count the number of observations in each bin. Without clicking on anything, type an equal sign, followed by the word frequency, and a left parenthesis. The first argument for this function is the data you wish to create the histogram for, specifically the data in cells A1 through A16. Type a comma. And we can now enter the second argument, which is the bins. The bins range from cell C1 down through cell C6. Close with the right parenthesis, but do not hit enter yet. Instead, on your keyboard, press down control and shift at the same time. While these are both being pressed down, then you can hit enter. This will fill in all of the counts for each bin. Now that we have our frequencies, we can create a histogram by creating a bar graph of these six frequencies in column D. Go up to Insert and select Bar Graph in the Charts section. Now technically, a histogram should have the bars connected, but Excel is not able to do this, so this is the closest we can come to an official histogram. Notice also that the horizontal axis does not yet represent the bins. To adjust the x-axis so the bins are shown, we're going to right-click along the x-axis and choose Select Data. In the box that appears, we're going to click on the box that says Edit, under the title Horizontal Category Axis Labels. In the Axis Labels box that appears, select the bins that we typed earlier in column C, cells C1 through C6. We can click OK and click OK again. To finish off the histogram, we can go ahead and change the title of the graph to represent the exam scores.